Lauren Tweez. In the late 70s and early 80s, she was a weekly visitor in my home. Saturday nights were all about the Aaron Spelling created Love Boat and Fantasy Island TV shows. I loved everything about these shows, the multiple storylines, the amazing guest stars, and on the Love Boat, Ms. Tweez was super cute as cruise director Julie McCoy. And she was part of a great cast. In addition to Lauren, there was the amazing, the wonderful Gavin McLeod, and future politician Fred Grandy was great as well as lovable old golfer. He was kind of the show's Gilligan. Heck, they were all really talented, and there was a lot of chemistry between the cast members. Geez, I feel like I have to give a shout out to all of the guys on the show, Ted Lang, Bernie Koppel, and Jill Whelan. Nope, I can't leave any of them out. The Love Boat ran for nine seasons. After that, there were some additional special episodes and even a sequel of sorts called Love Boat The Next Wave. And through most of the seasons, Lauren, as cruise director Julie, was there to keep things sane and the storylines moving along. She was a very critical part of the show and, in my mind, kind of the breakout star. During the second season of the show, Lauren also took time out to film a TV movie, a very popular movie of the era called The Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. As you might guess, as a young teenage boy, I was a very supportive fan. One of the highlights of Love Boat for me was when Aaron Spelling admitted that Love Boat and Charlie's Angels, well, they existed in a shared universe. Love Boat Angels was a great episode of Charlie's Angels that had Tweez looking every bit as lovely as the angels who Mr. Townsend had sent to the Pacific Princess to crack another case. This wasn't, however, Lauren's first appearance on Charlie's Angels. She'd been on the fourth episode of the first season, an episode titled Angels in Chains, playing a character who was definitely not Julie McCoy. As the love boat grew in popularity, Lauren developed a cocaine habit that created problems on the show. At times, scenes would have to be refilmed with another cast member, or at the very least, delayed. Because of that, Lauren was dismissed from the show at the end of season 7. Ironically, Lauren had been working diligently to resolve her dependency on cocaine on her own, and was pretty much cleaned up by the time a new cruise director was found. But these were different times. Lauren did find work after Love Boat, and she made a return to the show during season 9. Some of the shows that she guest starred in were T.J. Hooker, Hotel, Hunter, and Murder, she wrote. She also had another shot at a TV series, a sitcom this time, when she filmed a pilot with Vicki Lawrence called Anything for Love. You can find portions of this show on YouTube, and you know what? It's actually pretty darn good. It's too bad someone didn't give this show a shot. More recently, Lauren has made guest appearances on many shows talking about both the good and bad times associated with working on The Love Boat. She's very frank about the issues that she was grappling with at the time. But she also talks about how the entertainment industry has changed for the better. These days, actors and actresses are helped through their times of crisis instead of being given a pink slip by the producers. One thing that is also very clear is that Lauren remains close with her former castmates. The chemistry that existed way back then still runs strong even today. A few years back, Lauren was invited to celebrate her 60th birthday on The Pacific Princess. I think it's great that she still feels connected to the cruise line and is able to accept invitations such as this one. It would be easy to look back on the entire experience with a bit of regret, but by all accounts, that's not the way that Lauren feels about things. She takes things day by day and enjoys each one to its very fullest. And that, my friends, is what we all should be doing. One last pick. This time from the Love Boat Next Wave episode where the original show's cast visited their old stomping grounds. I don't think the revamped version of the show lasted long, but still it was always good to see Robert Urich at work, and both Lauren and Jill looked great for their guest appearance on the show. So, who was your favorite Love Boat cast member? Or guest star? Let me know in the comments section and while you're at it. I would appreciate a thumbs up, and what the heck, why not subscribe to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.